Today we're talking about creating a paid newsletter membership site. We'll be using Paid Memberships Pro. I'm going to start the demo with the MailPoet plugin, which is a free WordPress plugin by the Automatic company. And then our integration plugin, the MailPoet integration for Paid Memberships Pro. This is our Must Love Dogs demo site. It is configured with a few of our most popular add-ons, but I'm going to be installing new add-ons today. I'm already logged into this demo site. We'll put a link in the YouTube video description for how to access and install this demo version if you want to set it up yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do, I mentioned that we're going to be using the MailPoet plugin. So I'm going to add that into this demo site. I would go to plugins, add new, and just search for MailPoet, M-A-I-L-P-O-E-T. And it's this first one here. 600,000 installs. We recently revamped our integration for MailPoet, which is why I think this is a great topic to cover today. A lot of our questions center around how do you create value with a paid newsletter? How do you keep people paying you? Uh, how do you get people to sign up? So if we get through this technical piece of setup first, then we can get onto some of those cool questions. The other plugin I'm gonna install is our integration plugin. This is MailPoet Paid Memberships Pro add-on. Don't look at these star ratings. This was from the, when the plugin, we recently revamped it because MailPoet redid their API. So this plugin's been in existence for many, many years, but only earlier this, I think it was in August or September that we re-released re it for the version three API through MailPoet. Cool, so now that these two plugins are installed and activated, you're gonna see a new menu item in your WordPress site here called MailPoet. And the first step of this demo I'm gonna do is create some lists. When you think of your membership levels, what I like to do when I set up a paid newsletter is have a list for every level. It's a way to segment people. When you do send those newsletters through MailPoet, you'll have a distinct way to send only to your beginner level members. You can also send the newsletter to multiple lists at once. So it's not hard to do that. I think in this site, we're gonna, we'll just do with our beginner. So we just go to MailPoet, lists, new list. And now we have our beginner level list created. Then within the Paid Memberships Pro area, you'll navigate to Memberships, PM Pro MailPoet. If you're using any of our other email integrations, this page will look very familiar. Basically, this screen lets you assign which list are people subscribed to based on what membership level they have or if they don't have a membership level. You can also configure lists that people can opt into. If you have additional newsletters that are free or a feature of membership and you wanna give people the option to add and remove certain types of preferences, certain types of content they get, you could set those up too. But for this setup, we're just gonna assign this beginner list, which is the list I just created in MailPoet, to our beginner membership level. Here I am on my Must Love Dog site. I'm gonna join as a beginner member. Let's be Kim Demo is our username. This is a local site I like to use. It's called Local by Flywheel. I think that's what it's called. They've renamed it a few times but it's cool to do demos on especially, or if you're just trying to figure out things for your WordPress site, you don't have a host yet or a domain. This isn't set up to a payment gateway, so I'm just gonna make up a information for checkout here. So now I have my membership confirmation. I'm a beginner member, I made my payment. When we go into MailPoet, we should see me signed in. There is a step with MailPoet if you want people to double opt in. Often when a, with a paid membership level, we don't require double opt-in for email subscriptions, but if the main point of your membership is to receive this newsletter, it's super important that people confirm. That makes sure that their email address is the correct one that you're gonna be sending to. And this is a setting that you can change in MailPoet. I'll link that up in the comments. You can auto-confirm people who join the list. Now I'm logged in as that admin again. I'm gonna confirm that the user I just created is a subscribed member. So for this demo, we set up MailPoet, we have our subscriber list configured, we had our user register. So now what we need to do is deliver that paid newsletter to them. And with MailPoet, it makes it super easy to automatically send new posts to subscribers when they're published or on a specific schedule. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that every time you publish something to your WordPress membership site, it gets automatically sent to the subscribers. So I'm going to set up that automatic newsletter for when when new posts get published. So navigate to MailPoet emails and it's called the latest post notifications. So just say, you know, set up, 
you can select frequency. For this demo, I'll do it immediately so we can see the result of what we're doing. MailPoet has a bunch of pre-designed layouts. I'll pick the first one because it's simple. I always click here. You know, I click here and it lets you preview it, but really when you want to select it, you have to click that select button. This is a demo of how to use this if you're interested in kind of digging into that. But right here, it automatically put that preview of, of what subscribers will see of my latest blog posts. You can change a lot about this. You can change how much of the content is sent in the email, the layout, whether it includes a graphic or not. And then you can add content before and after. When you go to settings here, you can say how many posts do you want it to include. So in this case, we're gonna send an email every time we publish, which I think for a paid newsletter site, you can decide what works best for you, but I think you wanna be able to deliver stuff like it just in time. A lot of our paid newsletter customers are like a daily stock trading tip or some kind of daily affirmation. So they wanna publish and they want the email to go right to the users as quickly as possible. A cool thing in the MailPoet is you can limit by a category of posts. So for a membership site, if you're restricting that content to members only, you might have a premium category that's restricted for users at that level. So in this case, we're gonna set up that latest post notification when posts get published in the premium member category. So in this case, we're setting up an automation for beginner levels, and I already have a category created called beginner content. And I think that's about it. We'll see, we'll see how hairy my demo is, but I'll just save that. I think MailPoet also allows you to put some like short codes in the title. So you could make the title of the email be the name of that blog post. There's lots of cool stuff you can do. The next thing I'll do is I'll set up, you know, who gets this email and on what frequency. We already selected immediately. We can change this to the, you know, this is the must love dogs team. You can change the email address that it comes from. You can change the reply to email address that any messages people write back come to. And then in this case, the list that we want to send to is that beginner's email list. And when you activate this, it asks you if you want to sign up for their sending service. I didn't do that. But now when we go back into MailPoet emails, post notifications, we'll see that is all set up. We hasn't sent any yet. It's set to send up immediately and it's an enabled series. So let's pretend, you know, we woke up tomorrow and we have a new post that we want to write. This is, you know, the fun Friday dog tips email, right? Uh, here it is. How to train your dog. Put some content, I put like an excerpt in there. So let's say we wrote a large blog post, we're ready to publish it. We wanna put the post in that beginner category because that's the category we set up our paid newsletter to distribute through. And then we wanna publish it. This came right to the inbox, this is that new post. You'll see here is Fun Friday Dog Tips. It shows me only the excerpt of the email, so they have to go back to your site, which is a great way to get those click. If you're, and it improves deliverability of your email if people are engaging with it. So you'll see a lot of paid newsletters send the full content of the email and people can browse that full thing, but you don't really know what are, what's engaging and what people are looking at because open rates are a fairly unreliable statistic for email these days. A lot of email programs pre-open an email. A lot of them prevent an, an open rate from being tracked or just give you false data that might look really impressive but not really represent how people are engaging. So what's cool is linking back to the membership site for them to read the full piece of content. You're really gonna be able to tell what's resonating with your subscribers. What are people clicking through to keep reading from that excerpt view? You have to be a little more interesting in that excerpt view, but you know people are paying you for this. They wanna engage with it. If you have a comment section for members only, it becomes a place that people can interact about that certain tip for that day or whatever you're delivering. So I really like using the membership site in combination with the paid newsletter. And it's really not any harder because you're using a familiar interface like WordPress to create the content. And these tools like MailPoet are doing the sending for you.